Hey everyone, we've got another exciting episode of Scrotus Potus. Joining me this week, two great comedians. One, all the way from America, Missouri. We've got Will Franken. We've got Craig Campbell, all the way from Canada. We're going to talk a lot of interesting things. Freedom of speech, freedom of press, leaks, Donald Trump's vacation. Is it too much? How many vacations do you take? It's hurricane season in August. How is that going to affect the president? And we're going to talk about a lot of other different things, including tours, great road stories. Hey, look, share, listen, subscribe. This is Scrotus Potus. We keep getting better. Uh, guys, it's summer break uh, for POTUS. Uh, how's your summers going? Will, what are you, your summer going so far? You been filming? Been filming, uh, still trucking away on the Red, White, and Blake project, the documentary about William Blake, which is turning into a bit of a, I call it a, a Pink Floyd the Wall with nationalism as its undercurrent and also heavily scripted by William Blake. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's a, a little light summer so far. A little light summer. Very, very, very near the end. I say we'll have this damn thing done hopefully within 7 to 14 days. Nice. That's yep. good. Good to have deadlines. Crago, what do you do? I, I have uh, my summer now is just marveling Will's summer. Oh, <laughs> I know I keep, the last two times I've been here, I keep going on about this project. But that's one thing that I'm realizing. Mm. Like I'm, I'm presenting the case that Blake would have made that... Uh, when he says things like poetry fettered fetters the human race, he's talking about political correctness. But then when you look at the notion of like the artist of today, or the people who call themselves artists are really like, they're mostly businessmen for one. They're not, it's not inspiration. What's that? <laughs> Here comes the army. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm an Lock artist. Step. Yeah. You know, just, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. I guess then we could say the same will that hold for, for Donald Trump then. What's I guess that? as well. Would that hold for Donald Trump? You have all these political people, and he's that so apolitical, he's actually political. Dude, I was <laughs> thinking of that on the way here. Exactly. That maybe know. he's because he wanted yeah. to drain the swamp. He wants to be so out there. That is yeah. a result of him wanting to be this guy. He's actually the ultimate politician. People like oh. him. Well, sort of hate him. Yeah. But he was the guy saying, screw you to the establishment. And yeah. the other people hate him. He's not one of us. He's not one of us. Yeah. He's not real. Don't listen to him. Yeah. He's not a politician. We're politicians. Trust us. We're politicians. Yeah, sure. So you mean, you mean he's more authentic? Slash. What's that? He's saying he's more authentic. Yes. He's an authentic. As, in, as yeah. a manipulator. You think he's a, as a manipulator? Absol yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, somebody who, like, you know, to, to, to justify the end. True. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah. but the, the idea that Trump is a manifestation of this caricature that you're talking about, abs absolutely. Well, also the manifestation that he, in, in sort of, in a sense, became what politics didn't want, which was a shining light under their nether regions, which was, <laughs> yeah, very good. Which like was to look at yeah. did the PACs, the super PACs, the fundraising, yeah. to look at this so-called swamp and, yeah. and the so-called unfairness. And, yeah. and so, by doing so, saying, I'm going to show you this, yeah. he almost became that politician that no politician wanted to be, an honest sure. one. Even right. if you don't like what he's saying, he's yeah. still out there tweeting it. Yeah. I'm, st I'm still, I'm excited now by the, the place that we're in. I, I quite enjoy, and it's, it, maybe it's a sick enjoyment, of, of people like normal people yeah. starting to realize there's enough of a clamor that they're thinking, wow, like maybe the mainstream news hasn't been authentic. Yeah. But these people, this pool of like new people who are a tiny bit like cued to that, yeah. have nowhere to look. Yeah. Right, yeah. then you, they're just left yeah. in a morass of like, what have I been believing and for how long have yeah. I been believing it? Yeah. And that's what's interesting for me to watch because the idea that like they're trying to make, I saw this last night that made sense to me that, you know, the attack on Trump the man yeah. is the problem. The attack on Trump, the concept or the, you know, mm -hmm. the movement yeah. is, you know, that's what should be attacked or the system that's creating that. Mm -hmm. Right. But the idea that it's become into a slinging match, like you're you're in a sense, uh, uh, you know, uh, the idea that there's a real narrative of, of Trump versus Obama now. Mm. And, and the idea that like Obama was in any way good for that empire. Is incredible. The American, that, the American yes, Empire. That yeah. there's even like that paradigm that exists. That oh, he people was, hor are, he was he, horrible. horrible. Like we he don't was... even have to go down that hole to, yeah. to know about that. Yeah. And but similarly, that there's like whatever it is, we can chuck it in the air. Is 42 percent that are like that really think Hillary getting in would have been a great idea. But so Trump, yeah. he's on vacation now. A lot of people were saying, oh, 17 days. I mean, how many yeah. vacation days in he's New taken? In New Jersey. In New Jersey. He's like not too <laughs> far away. He's not too far away from the White House. It's like most presidents are like, I'm going to Fiji, I'm going yeah, to Valley. Sure. Yeah, I'm just going up the road. Yeah, Good for I'll him. See Good for him. <laughs> on my own, own property. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah, on my own property. It's yeah. really hard to hate that. While well, he's like, still making, you know, is people... there a pond? Is he going to fish on that? Well, there's I'm people still having weddings and making money off of the, you know, so he's still like, hey, how you doing? How's the wedding going? Hey, how you doing? It's good. Of course. Yeah, exactly. 
exactly. steal the John, Enjoy. Donald Trump. Don't steal the yeah. Trump. Don't steal the towels. Yeah. No, seriously, don't steal the fucking towels. You yeah, know? I, I know people now. But is it is More. it wrong? I mean, the guy needs a vacation. His approval rating is at 33%. Mm. Talk about... Do we actually like think not to totally debase all of this, no. but we don't actually think he's in charge, though, right? Uh, we don't actually think that. We no. know, like he's the he action should be. for it. That's he, my yes. argument. He should be yeah. in charge. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting because historically, <laughs> August, whenever people take off in August, bad things happen. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's see. In Ju uh, 2001, George W. Bush took off, and the CIA said, "Hey, this Bin Laden guy, he could be doing something soon." Yeah. Within a month, uh, September 11th, 2005, Katrina happened. That was not good for George W. Bush. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll finish my vacation. That was hideous. Uh, Barack... I'll never forget that day, by the way. I remember I remember driving across country. I was doing one of those three-day trips from New York to L.A. And halfway through, that's when Katrina happened. I was going through Missouri, and I remember thinking, as a joke, I thought they're going to find a way to blame the hurricane on Bush. And they did. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, you have they found a way to do it. Well, the response, I think. It was a response. Yeah, but it his was his followers blamed the hurricane. The followers blamed the, <laughs> the well, problem being that in probably, August, yeah. people sometimes take the foot off the gas. And yeah. if you had Barack Obama as well, when you had Ferguson in 2011. Yeah. But hurricanes? Well, <laughs> hur but the thing is, a hurricane is always going to happen. The, the, in fact, the chance okay. of a hurricane yeah. happening so, in August is massive. In fact, there right. is like a 60% chance we're going to have a kicker of a hurricane as, yeah. as it gets warmer yeah. and as we see the hot water it going on top. To going up. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. You, it's just a matter of, hey, where are you going to be? Yeah. You know, Gulf mm. Coast, who's going to take it in the jaw this time, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. always, for a, for a president, <laughs> you wonder how bad that's going to be. It's like, fuck, yeah. is it a get-out-of-bed hurricane? Is it, yeah. can I sleep in? Can yeah. I finish shitting and tindering Why have you kind of hurricane? Yeah, yeah of exactly. Course, of course. Yeah. But I was more thinking regarding uh, hurricanes. I'm more worried about who do you give authority to? Sure, yeah. In, you know, in America, when you like mm. chuck it to the army or something, mm. it's just like, holy, like that gets really awkward really quick. Yeah. Like, you know, the army massacres people all the time. Well, it's right? also making oh, no, they don't. What are you talking about? Uh, grenade, just... uh, you know. Uh, well, that was a while ago. Yeah, it was the Marines as yeah. well. But uh, but to be yeah. fair, if you leave the Americans in charge of somewhere, yeah, with and there's a lot of people? civilians around, yeah, I no, think Vietnam won't. proved that pretty much. That was I think, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, but that's still you guys, and that's the, some of the stuff you do with Fallujah. That stuff still exists. Was it, was it, no, I think it was. was we it, we're a part of it. I'm not. Like I heard Trump the other day. Trump, Trump said, about the West. Trump said this the other day. I think in regard to yeah. Vietnam, he said. He said. Yeah. I don't know if it was Trump or some commentary yeah. on it, but he said something about there was a general that he really resented because he kept saying. No, his blood. I'm, I'm rewatching William F. Buckley's firing lines. Oh, well. These things okay, are amazing. Yeah. Right, yeah. They're all on YouTube now. But he, and one of them, he says that he resented. There was a particular general who would always say. No, no, it was, it was Johnson. Lyndon Johnson would always say what he, they would not do. The, the killer. Yeah. Yeah, he's the a, killer Johnson, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the Democrat. Johnson. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and right. he would come out. He, was, he he resented the fact that Johnson would say, "Well, we will not use nuclear weapons in uh, Vietnam." And he says, "He said, I don't want them to use nuclear weapons in but Vietnam." But I want them to. Think we stop, can. Exactly. Stop <laughs> saying what you won't do. I don't know if we talked about it before, but it's something that I think about a lot, and it came essentially through the analysis of the Snowden uh, uh, chronology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know his. I don't know if you. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, what turned him? If you yeah. know his story, you know that yeah. he just thought bang are bad people yeah. And, yeah. You know, like he became the broken arrow and went yeah. you know went off but the concept did you see the, did you see the film by the way no i didn't, I didn't no but good thank i don't like stone thank at all God. yeah, the, yeah. I, I hate you know the idea of confusing myself with fiction you yeah. know it's just yeah. like yeah, 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 yeah. we're gonna get that it's you know product placement is next i like ketchup ah! yeah. but the uh the the um the idea that they really placed in that instance that he that the individual's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. the idea that a guy can get a hold of, you got the briefcase! Yeah. Which one? Oh my God! The one with the handcuff on yeah, it. Like, yeah, yeah. is he out of the building? He's up the river! You know, that's yeah, mad yeah, yeah. that yeah. they've put this sense that like one guy can be the one man disaster. To bring it all right? down. Like, yeah, yeah, can bring it all down. And then yeah. next thing you know, we've all got our shoes off at the airport and everybody's under the same scrutiny even though, yeah. you know, your grandmother obviously isn't, a, you know, doesn't have a belt on but they got her naked and, yeah. you know, Picturing that, yeah. But is this getting? I mean, we're sort of talking about this. Is this leak crisis? Is this a way of of actually is the leak diversion? I mean, is it a diversion? Because when you look at these leaks and these leaks that have come out, mm -hmm. the only real thing that was bad, sort of, was Trump Seth telling dying. was Trump telling 
Russia about ISIS and giving away confidential stuff. Mm -hmm. That is it. Other than that, there's no leak that is a threat to national security that mm -hmm. so far have happened out of out of this crap. Well, no, but the accusation is that they've they've completely manipulated the election process. Like that's the overt ridiculousness of. But uh, that, the, come on. I mean, yeah. do you think the Russians really manipulated that? No. Whole? Yeah. No. Of course not. But so, that's, but why the fuck are we talking? Like, why is this how distraction? How can it be that an yeah. insane distraction? Yeah. Is my point. That, well, that's like, it. Because yeah. you wonder you know, if the, the three card Monty is you're watching this distraction. Yeah. What the fuck is happening under the Korea. table <laughs> and yeah. we're seeing this this russia thing is absolute lunacy yes. and mm -hmm. has been from day one yes. since they they realized this wait a second she might not win have you heard the and clip even though she's that got, first revealed it was that in the debates have what? you heard the clip that first revealed i heard it recently what just like it? sectioned just where she uh, diverted from a uh, direct question about to something russia. or other and then just went you know that, exactly. that russia is now involved in yeah. you know colluding in our but i think that's what they're affecting doing our they, process, they, whoever uh, the establishment process. is has been spinning around forever yes. and getting their way and all of a sudden it's that we got nothing to go on but this Russia thing, but who cares? The cameras are knows we got CNN. We yes, got... just keep talking in circles. Is it sort of that Wizard exactly. of Oz yeah. thing that now the curtain's down, we can see the wizard? You realize, well, what the hell's going on? Like, what, yeah, why are they lying right. to us? What's going on? What are we really talking because about? Because most people yes. don't see the wizard. If, and I think we believe they do, the American political uh, system or, you know, uh, doesn't mind using murder as a weapon. Yeah. Mm. You know, I, I wonder, like, if, you know, you get But into, I wish they would take out the uh, North Korea dictator. I mean, they could snipe him. Well, something. they think they could, but if they yeah. tried, we might all the fall out. Yeah, there's that fall out. If, if you take him out, because he is, well, his dad, when his you, dad yeah. is a so yeah. You still have a lot of stuff that's tied yeah. in, including his exactly. generals, that they have the first strike. And anytime, yeah. you know, when you have a nuclear well, power in. like America, yeah. the other only option that exists for a country like North Korea is first strike, which yeah. is... Yeah. <laughs> Hit first. Yeah. I'm just going to hit you first and see what happens. But, yeah. you know, going to that conspiracy, I don't believe North Korea exists. Oh. What, as a country? <laughs> as, just as an entity, as a country, as a philosophy. Well, that's good, because it's that threatening. That's 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 you want to keep it that fantastic. Just, so there's no 38th parallel. No, nope. it doesn't the exist. There's no, there's no Asia. I've never been. Yeah, you should try kimchi. <laughs> I believe in Asians. Does it so Asia. good? But I mean, that's sort of the ridiculousness that people get to, where it's like yeah. they yeah. can just claim these bombastic things, like, "Well, yeah. I've never seen it," so the the whole country doesn't exist. No, yeah. I've never seen it. Well, but what if, if yeah, your identity yeah. is made up of lies, and you get the impression? And it, that's my whole theory: is that that the error gets in because of numbers. You've got how many comedians? This is why we, we, you know, when I did those awards last year yeah. for the bad bland so comedy, good. they're so good. We had a, we had a group <laughs> of what? How many? Was well Fifteen to twenty Just, up there. Yeah, yeah. But you're on you're, the hill. But the yeah. writing, and he took, you know, yeah. like yeah. a like a great orator took yeah. the, took the thought to create beyond what he could do himself. Yeah. yeah. And every kind of basis was covered. You know, like yeah. strangers yeah. were down. Yeah. And, Greediest you know, PR tourists, agent, everything. Yeah, yeah. Tourists from German here. Wherever. But yeah, think yeah. about that. We yeah. have how many comedians? We said a thousand. I mean, how many? Okay. How many shows are up there? Yeah, and yeah, in yeah. three days, the 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 power of all of the concentration of the entire comedy industry is contained within one city, and they had a good three days between the nominations and the pre presentation of the awards to come up with a satirical counter response, and all they could do was bitch on Twitter, because <laughs> they are nothing but numbers. Mm -hmm. They they do not believe in the individual; they only believe in the collective. Their art is all collectivization, and that's how these errors get in. It's just one person tells the other person, and therefore it gains strength. And when Where? you come in and your job as a satirist especially is to rain on their parade mm -hmm. they're going to reject but I, I used to always say that I can turn any socialist into a capitalist I just need the right profit motive and a room where they can't speak for about I'd say two hours they shut up no interruptions for two hours I lock you in you'll leave here a, a free market <laughs> supporter probably a Trump supporter and a Brexit supporter but just maybe shut a Scientologist up. too yeah <laughs> what, a Scientologist? maybe a Scientologist as well just God, for fun no, yeah, they're, just they're, take they're almost as bad you, as the uh, do you believe in hypnosis sorry to interrupt somebody somebody tried to once and I, I felt so guilty I just told him I was under yeah yeah I'm down I feel yeah but I'm you on. don't believe in it I believe it's possible. It just Do you? It didn't work for me because my okay. head's so loud. Okay, because I find it like. Are you it... are you licensed as well? No. No. Uh, <laughs> He's a licensed uh, hip, hypnotic pilot. <laughs> <laughs> hypnotic pilot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd rather me not be hypnotic. I don't yeah. think. Uh, no, I I don't know. Um, how much people enjoy fly with, <laughs> flying with me? I enjoy yeah. flying, but what know. kind of well, I mean, kind of aircraft? Like just little ones. Little like, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you actually look at hypnosis, or the subconscious mind works when you're actually traveling. When you're yeah. driving and you forget you're driving somewhere, your subconscious mind takes over. Takes over, yeah. And you just sort yeah. of get there. You're like, 
how the fuck did I? Yeah, yeah you so don't want oh my that. God. You don't <laughs> want that to happen. Yeah. yeah. But There's, that does happen for people who do like day to day jobs when yeah. you're Absolutely. like driving in traffic you know what, and you some, just tune out. What's interesting, yeah. if I can give some like science behind that, yeah. that you're, when you naturally or when your eyes adjust to focus mm -hmm. on, a, on an opaque. Uh, uh, palette mm -hmm. sky yeah. you you relax to about six feet yeah your focal point becomes about so you know that okay. same idea if you're driving in traffic or whatever like if you just drift off and you're not thinking about anything yeah. you're focused about six feet yeah. beyond the end yeah. of the car yeah. and that you know the that's tractor obviously trailer right, in front exactly, of you yeah, yeah, yeah or yeah. tractor you know going yeah. slower ah, that's why which is why <laughs> sometimes can... i think a lot of road rage happens because a lot of people mm. get comfortable in this aquarium shell that they have yeah. and, and suddenly it's like yeah. you've interrupted my time mm. now i've got to use my frustration because yeah. i hate my life and job so i want to physically attack you yeah. but not really i hadn't thought about it before but i do now think that it could also be you realize that they have to be studied in terms of their acting on the yeah. drug of adrenaline yeah noradrenaline yeah. i've never actually thought ragers. of that well, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like they've it's, already been like you know that fear that you get when you nearly yeah. hit something and yeah. you it's have like waking that, like, up yeah. someone you're waking like, them up suddenly yeah, and, oh, oh yeah, my god absolutely. i'm gonna fight you and yeah. you've like deadened their nerves yeah. in a way right like you've made them invincible yeah. and that fuck it's a bizarre concept and also question it. their control because as yeah. a result of which everyone thinks that they have ultimate control when they're driving i'm the best i'm the best driver you look at you and your stinking ways yeah I have a gun story that's related yeah. to it. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> the problem with bumming into people with guns? Three times I've had guns pulled on me in my life. Mm. Uh, but this one, I'll only show Not at one. the awards, though. I'll right? only, not, not at the okay, awards. Goodness! No, no, no. The, uh, well, it was road, right? You know, somebody tried to cut in front of me. Where the fuck do you learn how to drive? <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot and then i keep Fuck driving and then he, he follows me and then Holy. he chases me we're all around yeah. san francisco well this motherfucker's not letting go then we come to a stoplight he gets out wow. flashes the crumb you know i was that was way out of line i had I, you, yeah. were, you were right because that was the way i would have it's just yeah. it's a, a gun is a good truth serum oh, yeah. you just have to see it and it changes your attitude uh. about everything you just see the totally different attitude about driving and who's yeah. at fault <laughs> <laughs> Anything. You just pull a gun on anywhere. Yeah. Load those birthday candles. Yeah. So I yes, birthday. Yeah. Load those candles. Exactly. Right, what was the other two? Quick. The other two quick. Oh, well, okay, I'll just get the first one. The first one uh, uh, was a nine, ten years old. Gun stories. Nine, ten yeah. years old. Yeah. I'm walking with my cousin Richie up the hill. Yeah. You know, it's back from Missouri. Yeah. We are walking up the hill. Kids are bored. It's before the internet. And there's a big old shed down there in the distance. My cousin Richie picks up a rock. He says, I bet I can hit that shed with that rock. And he throws it. We, hear, we hear it hit the shed. And we keep walking up the road. And about five minutes later, Old pickup truck drives by, his big fat farmer gets out, 38 snub nose. Who threw the fucking rock? He did. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. On kids. On Children kids. and guns. Mad yeah. Man. yeah. Mad yeah. men. Wow. But our, it's amazing because both of our fingers. <laughs> he did. He and did you didn't rock. throw any more rocks. <laughs> yeah. throw any more rocks. <laughs> course, yeah. Yeah. I hope you went and got a gun after that because <laughs> no. don't bring rocks to a gunfight. I've only used other people's guns. <laughs> yeah. On targets. Not uh, people. Yeah. Well, people can be targets. Sure, yeah. they can be. Yes. As we often. Uh, There's not a big uh, gun culture. I've shot guns over here. Have you? Uh, here. Uh, yeah. Well, the range. Yeah. Nice. Have you ever read that book, or were you made? As in Canada, we get made to read the most ridiculous books in school. The most dangerous game. Oh yeah, you go hunting uh, prey. Or human, human prey. Yeah, yeah of exactly. course. Sorry, I mean, so I kind of wrote that. Prey. Human yeah, prey. I yeah. kind of wrote that in my head with my GI Joes. What about every? Week. What about? Uh, well, now I don't have gun stories, but we'll shock Will perhaps. What yeah. about uh, Night of the Grizzlies? Did they make you read that? No, okay, no. But maybe we just a Western thing. Yeah, just a Western. Just... We, had the, we, had the, we didn't have the big grizzlies. We had the black bears. So I mean, okay. they weren't as big. You okay. could scare them with a... This was a says, massacre, though. Yeah. This yeah. is just like a, a death fest where two bears uh, went nuts on the same night, like two unrelated incidences in the same national park. So this is a this is wow. a story they yeah. gave to children to take yeah, home to read before. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's why still right that's, here in my mind. That'll make wow. you stay It's terrifying yeah. for we kids. We used to have to sing like racist songs in like the War of 1812. You know, we'd sing the 18 and wow. we use the n-word you were it. eastern yeah you <laughs> the the eastern the 1812 yeah we took a little trip along oh. Colonel jackson down the mighty mississippi so we do this is that a canada thing no it's a southern song but in the original version of it the n-word is in it and i just remember distinctly like even in grade four going i don't know about this one in 1812 we took a little trip yeah 1814 yeah. yeah, 1814. 1814. And then, and then you a took a, bit. they make a, a alligator into a blunderbuss. Oh. But yes. the N word is still prevalent. Like it's in there twice. What is the N word again? Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah. But God. that is that sort of polemic thing that when you do something, it polarizes people and they attack. Like the comedy, yeah. that's what I find with comedy these days. It's, yeah. There's people are looking. Like people are looking to the find comedians. that. They want to find a comedian that they want to attack for saying I, something that hurts them. I, wonder, I, I think the pitchforks are out. Yeah. But I don't know how, like, sort of, I, I don't think they think that much, Wade. That's no. why no, I, I intersect on I that. Because yeah. yeah. there's no process no. of thinking going on no. in that sort of behavior. It's just right? a goldfish like, responding yeah. to the fucking castle. Yeah, because yeah. remember, like, 
like you can say whatever you want. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like remember that. Like yeah. the, and and I'm a fictional character. That, hypothetically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah. Hypothetically. Yeah. 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 That's why it bothers me when it's in the context of a stage. Yeah. Because that that civilians or that even other comedians and you see this sure. a lot as well yeah. are talk about what can be done on stage and it's yeah. like yeah. Oh, can you can you quit doing that because that's like not even a conversation. Yeah. Like, Is, no... you, in other words, you're saying we should be beyond that by now. Of course. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. a stage. That's why it's still the stage. And, and, and when not, you and when like, you see this downtown, downtown, I, I am for freedom of speech. Absolutely. But I don't. Don't believe but in hurting you feelings. Said, you said yeah. it, but yeah. you said the but. As, soon as, no they, but. as soon as they say the but, it's just like it's over. It's, it's your guy in tattoos that's just like, dude, you can exactly. get out of here. Like that's. I meant tear yeah. up the Bible and stick a yeah. crucifix up your ass. I, that's I what, meant yeah. defy the things that I was thinking could be defied. Exactly. Which is insane that they yeah. possessed that to like you know to make it a personal decision. That's that's what also bothers me about it because it's yeah. it doesn't come from the the hypothetical point of view. Like mm. who cares? Uh, you know, people have to not understand or, you yeah. know perhaps be told that who cares at all what you think yeah, yeah. who cares what you're like you yeah. have to discard that right away what yeah. you think yeah. nobody cares it just doesn't matter but there's right. always sometimes it comes, at a, it comes at an economic cost or a political cost for mm. people whether it's on your tv or someone who represents you that yeah. you have to apologize of course mm. and there's there's a then strategy the to course. apology and yeah. to yeah. how quickly you do it you know who yeah. you're doing it to. Sure. Does it value? Do you mean it? Of course. You know, and that becomes, yeah. and it's sort of an interesting thing now too that sort of come up now with this UK this new right to be forgotten law, uh -huh. which means you mm. can sort of say, hey, Facebook, I don't want, I don't want you, mm. uh, get, I don't want you having this stuff on me. That's great. But does it then go to the other point where it's like, I want you to take that down. I don't like that. I don't like that. Is it going to be a but point that's where? That's already happening. But is it going to be is a point it? there where yeah. people can say, "Hey, Facebook, you know what? She posted a picture of me. I don't like. I don't like this album. We're not friends anymore." Yeah. Is it going to a point where the <laughs> law itself is good, it? <laughs> but the micromanaging comes down? Where we're actually just going to be little You're bitches in the schoolyard, you yeah. know? I love that. I love that. But it's going to be just down. like this is impractical. Well, it does. Stop. It does like, seem yeah. impractical because. Sure. You're, you're asking, the whole thing about Google and Facebook mm. is you sign up to these guys and say, look, yeah, you can sell my ad stuff to, to merchandisers and whatever else. Yeah. You just give me a, your little platform that I can play with. Yeah. And that's, yeah. we agree to that. And we agree to their terms and conditions. We yeah. agree that, yeah. you know, if I put a picture of a dick holding a bag of dicks, yeah. sucking a on a dick, yeah. that they, Facebook's going to go, eh, you know what, community standards. And that's <laughs> yeah. fine. I've been banned <laughs> three or four times. Things, but... I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. But did did you do that? Did you put the dick on the bag of dicks? I had one. Pretty close. No, yeah. I had one. Yeah. It was a Christmas card. The last one time I got banned, I had a Christmas card, but it was uh, Santa's. It was like Santa in the sack, but Santa's sack was actually testicles. No. And it was just, you could just sure. see, but you it wasn't. You see a nail. You had to look close. Testicles, but it was like, yeah. 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 And it, it was, was good. funny, and it was Christmas. Yeah. God. My so, issue with it right now is, and and the reason I said it's already happening is yeah. because it's happening legally and financially, right? Yeah. Like that's what uh, that's what Hollywood's doing on YouTube every ten minutes, yeah. right? Like telling you what music you can't use in your home video, yeah. and you know, so they're like there are bots that are on it yeah. and managing it, but the threshold is just is it financially viable for them to want to like take you to court to do so? Mm. So now the idea that they're just once again just you know handing it out to the plebs. Yeah. Like, hey, ever you can get your bag of dicks off of the internet yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it. It. Um... I think it's also for a lot of people. You know, the, the law comes down to a lot of it. Whether it's say uh, your your kid died and you want to take the profile back or you want to take mm. it off, it's also being also saying like I don't want to have this. I don't want to be part of this. It's basically yeah. saying I don't want to be inclusive in your full digital way. But you're mm. part of history as well, aren't you? Aren't sure. You? We're part of a we're all part of a historical record and there's something like I read uh, something again last night. I don't know if you caught my hometown Calgary, the mm. the five person murder. Have you have you yeah. seen that just like mm. just a, a heinous murder that happened with somebody who was mentally ill mm. and he thought that like for a minute or two when people left the house that he was fighting werewolves and vampires Empires, yeah, and you know, goes back to those her. grizzly but, books you guys read it. Yeah, <laughs> but, the, but the story is coming from the point of view, or my knowledge of it is coming from the point of view of his best friend yeah. and one of the people involved at the house party that went wrong. Yeah. And and it's interesting in that that um, that they're uh, uh that uh, what's my tra uh, train of thought that the that the ex that the his experience is mm. like it's a year anniversary since the deaths mm. and now he knows how the press works yeah, and yeah. he's like he's a buddy who was at a party and a guy went nuts and he yeah. showed up 10 minutes later and now his life is that yeah right so it, it's hard to like yeah. take away and he and he even acknowledges that just is like you know you you have to go do your interviews and you have to you With know the like, killer 
No, no, the no. The, no. the best friend of the killer the who's friend. only involved by happenstance. Yeah. yeah. He's like, you know, he's like, his life that, yeah. is suddenly just kaboom. Like, yeah. that's what like, I was just reminds me of a joke I wanted to do about a, a serial killer, Peter Sutcliffe. He's like, you know what? I, I write poetry. I yeah. did. Yeah. And, and everybody, it's the same <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, it tells yes. about the strangling. Yeah. You know? yeah, of course. I am more than my serial killing. But <laughs> it, you yeah. guess it yeah. comes down to that point that if you but, do have that, when you want to take away and start a new identity, it's like Bernie Madoff's kids. I don't know if you watched that documentary or the HBO movie. De Niro? It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, but it was know. about his kids only found out like when he was mm. the day of yeah. right and one kills himself the wow. other one gets yeah. brain tumors but wow. they just wanted to be wow be, they didn't want to be involved in it they had wow. no idea their father had perpetrated this and it of was course. fucking over their friends and yeah. their families no idea but, but what do you and, and do you think possibly their ability to like remove you know that from the internet mm. could possibly like it, it's like a, a shit smudge of a problem right I guess like, it's for people who want to start again maybe not you know high profile but if someone yeah. like that who's been traumatized or you know you're gonna be like elizabeth smart that girl who was kidnapped yeah. you know eventually you're the right to be wiped clean yeah. yeah like maybe i want maybe i want to reset okay you know yeah. what i tell you yeah. what i like about this and i like most of the topics we discussed on here i don't actually don't find out about them until you send us the list of talk. i have no idea what's going on in america uh, but this is a this is a global thing. This well, the, this UK law. This is only the UK. Oh, it's the UK it law. Yeah, no, it's not. I, the think US. Is, I think this is a great idea because I think what will happen is so many people will complain about, you know, my friend Tina, whoever I'm not a friend with anymore, using a photo of me, yeah. that it will cause such problems for Facebook that God willing, Facebook collapses. Yeah. And it is no more. You know, that, that I, I, you know, that for, be, for as much I, as the freedoms I, it gives us, I would like to see social media I, completely dismantled. I can tell you something heinous that you may know from the, uh, uh, and it's even hard, you don't want to proliferate it because we're talking about something that could possibly be like want to be buried. No. But I think no. we both mutually know a man who like wasn't very popular in his circle by all accounts and yeah. everybody's interactions with him, no matter how minute, a yeah. complete dickosaurus. Yeah. Yeah. But he was falsely accused of, of trolling online and like, you know, underage yeah. like procurement of sex and yeah. they're yeah. like falsely accused of that and and like of producing pornography and yeah. all kinds of like stacking yeah. it up like and it was just the the crown yeah. doubling down with threats yeah. to try and get a lesser charge to stick yeah right yeah. so and this guy's life is like it's unreal but it was, like it was, he's it was, in jail he's you know naked for a few days on the on the yeah. slab waiting to never get out for months and months yeah. and and it turns out that it's utterly bunk Complete fiction. And you know, it, he was a dick, yeah. though, right? He was a dick. That's one of those occasions dick. where you wished you Oof. were a better person. Because if you, I'm accused of pedophile. Yeah, well, fuck yeah. you. I'll face the fucking ass. I'll see you in court. Yeah. You gotta make sure you're yeah. a nice person in case you ever get a pedophile charge. So yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's Barbara, hey, guess that's what happened? That's the only happened? reason yeah. to be a nice but, person. But, yeah. but, but, you know, yeah. the argument is, and it was mentioned, that, like, his life is utterly yeah. done, right? Like, imagine yeah. trying to get a job. Well, that falsely yeah. accusing, like, especially of pedophilia or sexual assault, yeah. if it yeah. is false, and those claims, when they do, obviously, when it happens, it's horrible. When But it doesn't happen. Yeah. That's fucking horrible. Because you say, there's no recourse for someone it's not like you can sue back <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. like hey you know how you guys I said all i kids. raped all those kids they yeah. should turns out as a home watching netflix uh, can i have an apology <laughs> they should well they least. should they should issue an apology mm. back, back to the notion but of they apology. do but it's a page it's like a page mm. eight mm. apology it's like yeah, yeah i know a, yeah sure a redaction and i don't know if it, i probably mentioned this on this program before but you know like the only time i thought donald trump was going to lose because i thought the moment he announced he was running i thought that guy's gonna win mm -hmm. that's what the world needs now they want somebody to go fuck you, you to everything to even social Politeness. I mean, just we're gonna fuck you to all of it. We're sick of it. It we're would benefit sick of your though, fucking from ribbons and your dance and all that. Love, sweet love. Oh God. <laughs> no, no. We just we, that's after every jihadi attack. Then we hear about love. Uh, we have to have the death first, and then we have the love. Uh, but, we have to forgive and forget. But no, I, the only time I thought he was gonna lose was when he apologized. And I remember I was yeah. on the National Express. We stopped off at the services. I saw him like oh, looking wow. different on the television at the services, and I go, Oh fuck, he's apologizing. Do you remember? They never want an apology. The other side never wants an apology. They want you to apologize only, only so they can go, ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought that's. I think it. it's quite disarming, oh. though, isn't it? As well, it, it, yeah. it further humanizes you. The, the apology. To, to apology. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, I, I think you, you may have different theories. I don't think he had anything to apologize for. He had nothing to apologize for. For one. I don't even it's, know. It's what different he than the apology saying. saying it's it's different than oh, saying right, okay, I did right, not right, have right, sexual right, relations right. with that woman. Yeah. Even though you got a blow in the in the White House and you lied about it. Yeah. That's just fucking horrible. I think yes. it's valid that you could like feel that you wish you weren't caught for saying that. Yeah. You know, yeah. like uh, there's a you know there's maybe a bit of a purging of, of self, but yeah. I think that it's a theory behind why you know we had uh, it was the mayor of Toronto. Yeah. 
Ford. Uh, Rob Ford. Yeah. I voted for him, by the yeah. way. Yes. I really and, liked him. Yeah. And, uh, Saved course. a lot of money. He was a really efficient mayor, and I and don't care about drugs. Yeah, and a human. Uh, for sure. So he smoked crack and party. Yeah. He was a nice yeah. guy. Oh, I met that him a few guy. times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was Toronto. a good guy. Yeah. 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 For the same reason, I think that people can't really understand that maybe from a more, like, so, yeah. uh, not socialist, but like uh, yeah. a, a bit socialist Canadian perspective. Well, you see, by the way, you see what pro weed and more. What does the left wing, you know, the Democrats especially, love when they find out that a Republican, I mean, you know, the some Republican senator turns out to be gay, yeah, yeah. and he's, he's secretly closeted. Yeah, you know, yeah and, bust and, that and guy like, wide open, him. ruin his oh. life. You talk about homophobia; it comes right from the gay community towards that guy. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. How do you do that? Yeah. Whereas, yeah. in reality, it's like, you know what? If you are an individual, if you regard yourself as an individual, and yeah. I remember some stupid fucking collective, you'll yeah. see that it actually probably, if you are gay, makes more sense to be on the right wing than yeah. the left wing. They, because if you're on the left wing, at the at the at the nicest, at the at the least threatening, well, they just turn you into a collective, and you all have to go do the same fucking pride dance every year. Uh, at the worst, they'll just forgive uh, your murderers on the on the global level when they hang uh, your fellow homosexual in Iran. So is it like the Democrats? So are, they're sort of like the Borg. What's that? They're like the Borg from that Star a, Trek. That's a sci-fi thing. That's a Star Trek. I've never seen Star Trek. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Never, my, I have a schizophrenic uncle who was really into it, and I thought that it was catchy. Uh, uh, I'm going to wind it down there for guys. Uh, Thanks a lot, uh, Will Frank and, and Craig Campbell. Uh, Will, you've got your, your movie. When are we going to be able to see it, and where will we see it when it comes Okay, out? we're hoping between the 15th of August and the 20th of August. Uh, we're hoping to air it at the... Uh, various screenings around London. We're not going to throw it away on YouTube, partly because copyright, I'm sure we're going to throw it out there and go, you've used uh, Asiko's Koto in G minor, so, you know, who knows? Yeah, okay. Uh, but uh, And I'm touring. Cool. For, uh, touring. I got, I got a, yeah, I got Dur my tour. Oh, no, I got my launch tour show on the 2nd of September, uh, which uh, which is invite only. Anyway, you can't come, punks. So don't know anything about it. Where, but, are you, where uh, are you touring the UK? Touring Europe? Uh, touring doing? the UK, but the first show's in uh, in Norway uh, in a couple of weeks. So um, so that's pretty cool up until uh, September 2018. And you can check that out on uh, Ends24, Craig Campbell, tour dates, or uh, moosefucker.com is where I'd go if I was any kind of hero. That's where I would go as well. I'm Wade McWing, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Another episode of Scrotus Potus.